show and today we have Darnell on our show welcome he is a clothing designer and creator of SEA self-explanatory apparel thank you for being here thank you for having me so tell me about your background and why you decided to become a designer well I'm originally from New York um, Buffalo New York upstate New York but I spent a lot of time in Brooklyn too my dad's side from Brooklyn my mom's side Buffalo so go back and forth between the two mm -hmm. um, I got into designing because basketball was my first passion. It actually okay. didn't work out. I actually graduated college too early. So, and Wait, I lost you graduated it. college too early? Yeah, I graduated college a year and a half early. Genius! <laughs> Smart guy right here. Sort of, Congrats. Sort of, sort of. But um, mm -hmm. it wasn't uh, it wasn't working out. It wasn't gonna be my mm -hmm. path of you know, I mean career path. Mm -hmm. So, I got into designing. I was always into fashion. Okay. Always, you know, I mean, always like to style, be stylish, and things of that nature. And it's yeah, yeah. also my mom's fault too. She always used to be like, you "Can't go with me looking like that." <laughs> like I that. love so it. I love always it. Always had to be on point. And then okay. I just, you know, I mean, I, thanks, mom. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I just got into it after a while and started just making my own clothes and things mm -hmm. of that nature. And when I used to wear it out, people used to ask where I get it from, okay. how did they get it, and then it just blossomed from there. And, them into this beautiful apparel line that you see us wearing here. So, um, can you tell us about? Wait, this one of this model is here. <laughs> yes, work it. Yes. Um, so, tell us why you named the company Self Explanatory Apparel. It's actually a real metaphor. Um, things may look like they're black and white. Things may look like they're self explanatory. That's where the color scheme comes from. But um, they're really not. The whole key is to ask the right questions. If people ask the right questions in life or in the world, the world would be a better place. So things aren't as vivid as they seem. You have to peel mm -hmm. back layers and get to the bottom and get to the root of the situation. Mm -hmm. So it happens in cultures, pop culture, mm -hmm. regular society, politics, things of that nature. So it's, that's where it comes from. That is so true in this day and age. You know, especially the first thing I think of, I know this is really random, but you know when like people post things on Facebook, like a crazy story and people just automatically believe like oh my god that's right. crazy and they don't peel back the layers to do the research to right. find out what's really happening it's a lot of fake news out there <laughs> so you have to be clear have to. so is that your inspiration like when you're thinking about a design as a designer like where is that inspiration coming from like peeling back the layers or like where it it's like you look at things outside the box like you think of the norm you well you see the norm because you're actually visualizing what's going on but mm -hmm. you think outside the box like everybody on Instagram looks like they're having the time of their life or <laughs> just this famous person or something like that yeah. but it's not really the case so like you just have to think if this is happening something else either led to this mm -hmm. or it's not completely what it seems like you may be on camera right now having the time of your life but when you go home you may be going through something I I may be really stressed out at home. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not, though. I have a fabulous life. Yeah. I mean, you got it. It's California. You can't have nothing but a fabulous life. It's true, though. I, I really like that. I love the inspiration. You're making me think. You're really making me think. I hope you guys out there at Alley Cats are thinking, and I hope you're checking out this line. I'll put up the website so you guys can check it out. Hey, yes. So, and I, I was looking at your hat earlier. I really like the stuff that's going on. Yes, work. So let's um, talk about where you're from, New York. So tell us about like your experience growing up. Like, what's the difference between LA and New York, basically? The difference between LA and New York, I would say, it's a lot more laid back here. It's mm -hmm. a lot more passive. A lot more carefree. Mm -hmm. New York is a really like gritty place. You have to be yeah. on your toes. You have to be always on the move, always quick and on your feet and mm -hmm. thinking further down the line. So why that is that? Do you think? Just the hustle and bustle, the nature of the mm -hmm. culture, what it is. Um, that's just it's like the first metro city in the United States. So. Oh, I didn't know that. I learned something today. So, oh, so the cameraman, you have a question? Yeah, I have a question. Um, as far as like dating in NYC, like what is it different, or what's the difference that you found from LA to New York? Like, I don't own a pair of Tims. Like, can I still win? <laughs> can I still win without you Tims? Definitely, definitely could win because you'll be. Not the norm. Everybody likes something different. Uh -huh, but the, the major difference between, I would say, dating between New York and L.A. is 
New York girls are a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more upfront. And LA women, they like the facade. They like the, the picture that's painted. They don't really like get in depth right away. Mm -hmm. It takes time for them to either warm up or things of that nature. And then Interesting. the culture of like as far as like how we talk, like Yes, I we love your talk accent. Like, thank you. Yes. Um you mean <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that's like a Florida mixed with LA thing. Yes. <laughs> but I would think like we say things, we're more direct, like I was saying, yeah. and you may take things the wrong way, but we mm. really don't mean any harm. Because so. nothing is black and white, right? right? So right. there you go. So tell us what you have coming up next, what's in the works. Um, what's coming up next? I'm actually leaving Wednesday to go back home. Um, Can I come with you? Because I just love New York. Come on, come I'm on. jump on the plane. Always, always welcome. <laughs> I, 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 I really, really like feel like everybody has to at least visit at least once. At, at least, least once, it will change your life. It, it will. It, it's an eye opener. But um, I have a pop up shop back home, my hometown, Buffalo, New York, first, and then uh, I'll be going to Brooklyn, mm -hmm. and I'll have one there as well. And mm -hmm. um, I got a lot of deals on the line, and okay. little collaborations. I have met this um, great painter by the name of Omar. Um, mm. We're gonna put together some things with freestyle paint and that's things of that be nature. Beautiful, so beautiful, because you have a be great dope. mind. So that's gonna be a very beautiful picture you're gonna paint. Right. I can feel it. I can feel it. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. so are you gonna be having any pop up shops in LA? Because I wanna come. Well, I, I just had one last year on the 21st of August. Um, I'll be having another one on the 21st of this month in Riverside. Okay. So we'll be having that on my way back. And then uh, I'll have another one soon. Okay. So definitely. Perfect. Well, I'm so excited for you and your clothing line. Congrats. Thank you I so much. I just love Appreciate it. entrepreneurs. They're Appreciate just like it. so inspiring. And do you feel the love, you guys? Do you feel the inspiration? I hope you do. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to put up all his social media information. Thanks for watching Allie and Callie. I will see you next time, guys. Bye.